amazing. A river. It's gonna become a ton. Against the current. It's so tricky. Like Lancelot is one of the most trickiest assassins in this meta right now. The fact that if you miss a single Smash into Smash the them. land of dawn for game number one as a cavalry look to pick up a game a series over the three face masks welcome to mobile legend let's see the items here or rather the emblems first oh early start good poke there from the vixana fabian and niall actually going to be going to work the opposite side both starting on the purple dog there but the pathing in terms of the clear it's relatively even Looking at the emblems, Aaron Shiki actually going for the weakness finder, and it is going to be Witty playing in a way where it's just to set up Aaron Shiki down below. QC for Owen to get more maneuver maneuvers around the map. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, between both of these gold leaners, right? Eyes as well as oh. Aaron Shiki. What do we think about this matchup? Who wins that lane? Aaron Shiki versus uh, Highs, it should be Highs, but because Witty is always in the bottom lane, it will be very, very good for Aaron Shiki to just get farmed. One thing actually caught my eye is Aran on a Vengeance instead of a Revitalize. This is, I think, the first time we've seen the Hylos actually go for the Vengeance over the Revitalize, at least in Season 14 MPL ID. In Ranked, it's pretty popular, Vengeance Hylos. Is he looking for a more sustain, maybe, in the team fights? Does he understand that he's going to be receiving most of that damage? Mm, more survivability, I guess, yeah. But I would actually think that the Revitalize would work better here to actually, you know, just act as utility for the rest of the team, knowing that Alter Ego would want to ignore him. But we'll see how it plays out. So far, so good. And it's a flicker from Owen. Used up. Big engage tool. Yeah, I mean, now with that resource spent, TL Eddie might put extra pressure in the top lane, you know, stunned up with the Law and Order. That will be all. Lolita now in and neglecting the gold lane now looking for the setup owen quite poked here no time to recause labor fave looks to find the first neutral objective now tlid seems like it will not be contested the first neutral objective falls for the cavalry what do you think about that it looked like alter ego had no intention of going for the contest whatsoever lyle was still doing his purple buff was he falling behind in rotation, or was this intentional? Oh, I think it's expected, and I think Alter Ego read it well. Alter Ego known to always just contest for neutral objectives. I like the fact that this time they didn't. They stayed disciplined, but before that, we got our talent prediction by our new app, GoPay. Mm -hmm. It looks like everyone believes in TLID this time around, except for Omwawa. Alter Wee. Ego, 2-1. to one. We'll see if it reigns true. I mean, from match number one, the outlier has won. Let's see if Omawa is going to be able to take the cake here for game number two. But back in this, Niall opening up the map. But look at Weedy charging. Oh, you know, Ras got two. But that will be all. No follow-up damage by the side of TLID. The Spear of Alpha was used as well. So we're not going to be seeing it for the next few seconds. And again, very passive from both of these teams, right? It looks like they're playing to their strengths a lot better, more disciplined. I thought that this would be a very clash centered game that we have on our hands, but we're, that's not ex that's not what we're seeing. Three minutes in, still 0-0 zero, zero on the kill board. Yep. That's what Alter Ego definitely want to get out of their composition. They want it to be a brawl. TLID has actually went the opposite route. And yeah, with the first turtle, like we said in the draft, yeah, Heskill is going to win out in this mid lane matchup. In the top lane and XP, Aran, even though I wouldn't say it's... It's technically a skill matchup, but if Aran just decides to keep on clearing, it does put him in a better spot to get into the turtle. So having an Alpha, a Vexana, and that high loss basically gives them an upper edge when it comes to the first neutral objective. So TLID, they're actually going to be playing the objective game, playing around neutral objectives, meanwhile for Ultra Ego, they're going to be the ones more likely to look for these skirmishes. And it's honestly going to be tough to look for the engagements if Owen doesn't have the flicker. Now he does, so TLID will have more respect towards Alter Ego. That's why you can already see that Alter Ego are the ones who are holding the turtle. Avian's a level ahead, though. So let's see the setup. See, Owen now seems to be the target. Slight overextension, perhaps. Punished and will actually trigger the flicker. Now Aran with a glorious pathway. Fabian gets the dominant descent. Wow. First blood actually falls to the rover. And the neutral objective will go to the hands of Fabian again. You know, soaking a lot of damage. Aran is just a menace holding him down, putting Nino on his pocket. But Nino will not be able to survive. Weedy secures it. That was a big, big win for TLID. And even 
considering the composition that they have, Eren Shiki still untouched as well. On the Natan in the gold lane, still farming. That was two kills given over to TLID. Two turtles given over to TLID. And a 2.6k gold lead. What went wrong for Alter Ego? Oh, I honestly feel like nothing went wrong. It was more of just TLID outplaying them. Owen was trying to open up the map, but again, TLID. So again, for Alter Ego, it's more of a, I want to ignore the high lows, I want to dive into the back line. But the thing is, the frontliners of TLID are poking him down. Well, that's a good combination there. Owen again punished. Mispositions himself and they know that they that Owen does not have flicker and another kill on the board for TLID. This is why I've been saying, man, TLID have been impressive, very, very impressive. And the way that they play the assassins, you can already see that they're very disciplined with the brawl style. Give you one, Thomas is sent committed. And now with the vengeance and glorious pathway as well, they will try to hold at the door and no casualty. Whatsoever, Alter Ego, they wasted their investment. No, they will trade the structure bot and top. Oh, it looks like Aran is going to go back in to defend it. Looking wow. for the clear. Looking for the clear. And they are going to be able to defend that turret in the top side. So Aaron Shiki, all the while, is also dealing that damage into the mid lane turret. So TLID just, you know, wreaking havoc all over the map. It looks like they're going to be setting up for the next neutral objective. Can it be a perfect turtle for them here in game number one? It honestly should be. This is phenomenal stuff from TLID again. You can see that discipline and the macro advantage that they have. On the Assassins, they've re been relying on their mechanics. And now you can see, even with this kind of composition, they are making it work. See so on here, trying. Oh, that's a big Yungnam Blast finding too. The follow-up damage though will not be committed just yet. We need soaking water damage stunned up as well. He will not fall. It's actually Nino will be taken down first round. There will be the trade as well. It's going to be highs. Looking for the back lines, but doesn't really find it. So round away Nino for Wibi. Yep, two for one trade. They get the tower as well. And they're gonna be picking up that neutral objective. 3-0 in terms of those newts and TLID now hold on to the 5,000 gold lead. Initially, with Alter Ego working out so passively, they were looking for brawls, they couldn't find it. And now the clock is ticking, right? Seven minutes in. I'm wondering how Aaron Shiki is faring in terms of those items. If I'm not mistaken, he has two. Is he on his way to his third yep. or...? He's already on the way to the Holy Crystal. This there is a go. scary Natan. So the fact that Alter Ego have not been able to successfully get an early game snowball means that TLID have all their win conditions set up. They have the objective game on point with these heroes, the Hylos, Alpha, and the Vexana. They have a Lolita that is always guarding the uh, guarding the gold lane. Aaron Shiki hides in the bottom lane. Very, very vulnerable target though. The backup is there. Raw charge committed as well. On towards Fabian, who is there. Whoa. But the revitals, no, no revitalized Fabian is trying to hold on. Trying to delay, finds a trade as well with Aron finding Nino. But now the re-engage, the new non-blast done. One, Heinz gets taken out. Oh! Aaron Shiki finds a double in the backside. Meanwhile, Heinz isolated, looking for air, and he will fall. That was a four for one trade. TLID, they were able to get the advantage, the benefit out of everything that they did. Even with the team fights getting separated like that, even with the sandwich play coming in from TLID, it was Alter Ego that was unable to catch Aaron Shiki off guard. Aaron Shiki now 2-0-3 on the Satan. This is so well played by Liquid. I am super impressed, man. Liquid ID, the potential shining through. And again, we know them for their mechanics. They are not playing with their mechanics in this game. They are just playing with the fundamentals of the game, understanding which lane to push, when to retreat, when to recover, when to punish. Crisp, clean, clinical display of MLBB here for Team Liquid. And to make it better, they got a horse. The cavalry's <laughs> got a horse. Finally. Very, you know, poetic, I would say. But Weedy picks up the photo already. And we do see that Eren Shiki has the Holy Crystal. How do Alter Ego catch up? They can't. This composition is not meant to catch up. It's not built to catch up. It's built to get a snowball early. Oh, Eren Shiki. Again, just melts Owen down. Does Owen have... And he's supposed to be a roamer. Is he, does he have magic defense items? No, he doesn't. Oh, and that's Grok, right? 
Forced to go for the Dominance Ice, unfortunately. They need anti-region. They need a whole lot more than anti-region now, though, and that's exactly why I said they can't scale up. This composition is not built to. Oh no, Glorious Pathway looking for Nino with a entropy as well. Vengeance pop. Nino, where are you going? Going to bed, he answers. Now with the Purify actually not be able to. Now on the backside. Exploded. TLID still with the Lord. 3v5 now, plus the sixth man. Let's see what will all three go do to defend this base to Numenon Blast. Flicker finds still. No follow up though, canceled with a wild charge, but the base turret will be taken down. TLID ex applying extra pressure, looking for the base turret. Will they find game one? They will. 10 minutes and 41 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. A clinical game by Team Liquid ID to win that in a one sided force. What a game. What a way to start the series against Alter Ego. What a performance from every single member on the team. Really, Team Liquid, that was masterful.